Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer, and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week we begin our closet organizer build. Some time back, our closet organizer that we did have collapsed on us and it just yanked off from the wall. Uh, so we drew up some plans of what we wanted. We wanted to go big and uh, that's what we ended up doing. Unfortunately, there was so much footage on there, there's no way we're gonna be able to get this done in one part. So today is going to be part one of this series. So let's take a look at what we did.
Okay, now we're ready to start building in our closet. Um, we had built very extensive blueprints, cut sheets and everything, and we had everything measured out and ready to go. Uh, we felt really confident about it. We understand that the walls aren't gonna be perfect. Uh, there's gonna be some, some uh, measurement differences between the higher end and the bottom end. And uh, so we knew that, that there may be some flaws. Some places might have some bigger gaps than others, but we were prepared for that. And what we we're gonna do to cover that up is by using uh, crown molding on the top and some baseboards in the bottom and fill in all those gaps so that it looks really nice. However, we ran into a problem and that is Bruh. So what we did not think about at the time is the uh, access panel into the ceiling. This is the only access panel and uh, we have recently used that quite a bit when our AC unit failed and uh, we had uh, vendors come in and actually uh, disassemble the unit, uh, AC unit in the ceiling and then pull it down piece by piece. Uh, if in the future somewhere we have another problem or if it requires maintenance or re regular scheduled maintenance, if we build this uh, as a permanent fixture or closet um, organ as we had planned, uh, we will not be able to access that and uh, so that's going to be a problem. So we took our, um, our blueprints and we had to go back over it and think of what we can do as a workaround. So what we're going to do here is something a little bit different. We're going to have to try to make this whole build in different sections and we're going to have to make them as precise as possible. And why is that? That's because the idea that we came up is this one particular section right here that is directly below the access panel, we're going to make it so that it can be pulled out uh, a mobile section of it. And here's how we're going to actually do that. Okay, so here's what we decided to do. What we're going to do is actually, come on down here, we have actually cut out this section here of the support so that it comes out. What we're going to do here is we've added some grooves in here and here so that we can actually put in a device that we're going to show you at the end that will lift this up. We will be able to put in sliders underneath this and pull the whole unit out and slide it off to the side so that um, maintenance or we can access the, um, the ceiling if ever need be. All right, now how we're gonna do this here is we wanna make sure that it is as tight as possible, but still so that we can pull out this, uh, this particular section whenever we need to. We, d we don't want it to be poorly cut where we have some very vis visible uh, gaps between it. So in order to make this as close to perfect in our mind, we're gonna be doing this piece by piece. And what do I mean by that? Um, we have found that the, the length between these walls at the top is significantly different from at the bottom. So what to, to make sure that everything is gonna fit, we're gonna be building and, and precision cutting each one of these uh, shelves. We've already got everything uh, pre-cut, but it's just a matter of fine tuning them and we'll, we'll make sure that it fits in that area that, that it's designed for um, one by one. We'll make the cuts, we'll cut out uh, dados and whatnot that we have planned for it. Uh, and normally I would like to do all the dados and all the woodwork and then just simply do the assembly up here. Um, but the other problem that we have is by doing this in sectionals, these pieces are going to be very big. And for us elderly, uh, it's gonna to be too heavy for us to carry. So what we're actually gonna be doing is we're going to be cutting everything, making sure a dry fit, it all fits. We're gonna take everything back down to the garage and we're going to stain it down there and uh, put on a protective cover. Uh, and then we'll bring it up here and assemble. I know that that's not the proper procedure to do. Uh, you should assemble it all first, but as as I had mentioned, uh, we can't bring it all up here in pieces. If we put it up here unstained and uh, then stain it in this location, it's going to be very difficult, very smelly, and we potentially risk ruining our floors with drips from the stain and so forth, and we don't want to do that. So we weighed all our options and we decided that uh, if we make this tight enough, um, it's going to be okay to stain it first and assemble things uh, with screws and glue, and it should hold uh, well enough uh, um, even though it's not the proper procedure to do this. So now we're gonna go ahead and go and start working on this and let's take a look.
that's all we have for today. So until we meet again, bye-bye.